Hey Space Lab, I'm Caleb Scherf and I'm Director of Astrobiology at Columbia University in New York and author of Gravity's Engines, a book all about black holes. And I'm here today to answer your questions, 3KS26, and they ask, is it true that all atoms and natural elements, excluding hydrogen, that make up all chemical compounds actually originate from the cores of distant stars? Well, the simple answer to that question is absolutely yes. It's one of the most amazing things in the universe that all elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, so things like the carbon and the nitrogen and the oxygen in our bodies and the Earth around us, all of these heavier elements were formed deep inside stars, a million kilometers down in the core of stars. Now those stars are long gone. The reason we can be here is that those stars have given up those elements. They've exploded and spewed those elements out into the cosmos billions of years ago. Now the process of making elements is nuclear fusion. Hydrogen atoms get fused together to make things like helium atoms, and helium atoms get fused together to make things like carbon and oxygen and so on. And it's this incredible chain of events that takes place inside stars. But stars like our sun are not big enough to ever get hot enough to make elements really bigger than helium. You need more massive stars to make the heavier elements. And the most massive stars can combine atomic nuclei and fusion all the way up to the element iron. And when you get to iron, things get kind of complicated because to make iron, you almost have to put in more energy than you get out of the fusion process. So when stars reach the point of making iron deep inside themselves, they actually tend to become unstable. And what happens next is often a supernova. The insides of the star implode. And in that implosion, not only does the star spew itself apart and throw itself out into the universe, it also finishes making all the other heavier elements, things heavier than iron, like nickel, and all the way up through lead and even plutonium is made in the process of a supernova explosion. That's where it all comes from. So it really is true that you and I are made of the stuff of stars.